so grateful for you all so let's go ahead and begin we're gonna make the primrose stitch on today I do have some um, some more of my favorite yarn that I bought here I'm gonna use this I'm gonna double up the strands here for this project this is a three um, you have to chain a multiple of threes so I'm going to chain 24 so I'm gonna make my slip knot And I'm going to chain 24. You can chain any number of stitches that you want. Just make sure that it's a multiple of three. Eight, nine, ten, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 24 chains here. And I'm going to add two chains. That is your turning chain. So now in the third chain from the hook, you're going to make a single crochet. As always, that loop on your hook does not count. You're going to skip two. And in your third chain, go ahead and make a single crochet. Once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and chain two. And then go back into that same stitch with another single crochet. Once you've made that single crochet, go ahead and skip another two stitches. Go into your next stitch with a single crochet. Chain two. And back into that same stitch with another single crochet. Okay. Now that's your pattern for your first row. Skip two. Go into the next stitch with a single crochet chain two and back into that same stitch with a single crochet and just do that all the way across and I'm going to meet you when we get closer to the end again skip two go into your next stitch with a single crochet chain two and back into that same stitch with another single crochet Go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back. I'll, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the end. I'm going to skip another two and make my single crochet, chain two, and back into that same stitch with another single crochet. So now you should have two chains left. You're going to do not chain no more, don't make any more chains. Skip the first stitch and go into the last stitch with a half double crochet okay that's what it looks like so far come a little closer so now you're going to chain three and turn your work now we're counting this chain as a double crochet so you're going to skip the next two stitches and then go into that chain three space that you made in the previous row with three double crochets so go right into that chain two space oops, with three double crochets there's one this is two and this is three so we just keep doing that all the way across into your next stitch yarn over Go into the next stitch and make three double crochets. Okay. So you're going to do that all the way across. Once you've made your three double crochets, just go right into the next three chain space and make your three double crochets. One two and three so go ahead and pause the video and continue on remember you're only going into that three chain space that you made from the previous row okay so just keep doing that across 
and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. This is what it should look like so far. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the end of the row. And I'm going to yarn over and make my last three double crochets into that last three chain from the previous row. I'm sorry, two chains. And make three double crochets into that space. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row here. And I've made my last three double crochets. At the end of your row in that chain from the previous row, just make a double crochet. And that's the end of your row. Now go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now because this counts as a double crochet, it counts as a single crochet, we're going to skip that and go right into that middle double crochet of the third um, from the three double crochets you made in the previous row. You're going to go into that middle double crochet. So you have your three double crochets here. You're going to go into that middle one and make a single crochet and chain Chain two, and then back into the same stitch with another single crochet. And again, you skip two again, that'll bring you into that middle double crochet in the next section. So make your single crochet, chain two, and back into the same stitch with another single crochet. And just repeat that all the way across. Every time you come across, you should always be in that middle double crochet from the previous row. Make your single crochet, chain two, go back into the same stitch with another single crochet. And just keep repeating that all the way across. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the same stitch. Skip two, go into the next stitch. Single crochet, chain two, back into the same stitch with another single crochet. And just keep making your way across and I'll meet you closer to the end. What a bigger swatch looks like. Okay, so this is what that primrose stitch looks like. You have your single crochets and your chains at the bottom. And then you have your um, double crochets, your three double crochets. Very, very nice pattern, nice stitch. So you can use that again, as I always say, use it for whatever you want to, as long as it's cute. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial.